tax option in effects window. You can add tax as per your wish on your page. You will find this option under effects window. On clicking add tax, the tax window will open where you will find various options related to tax. Over here by default only the add tax and sync system fonts option will be active. As you click on the add tax button, a tax area for adding a tax will appear on the canvas. At the same time, all the options in tax window will be active. On the canvas below the tax, a tax content toolbar will appear automatically. This will appear wherever you select or add any tax on the canvas area. It consists of various tools related only to tax by using which you can modify your tax accordingly. Using system fonts. By default, number of limited fonts are provided in this software. Over here, you also have the provision to use the fonts from your system such as true type font, TTF. For using your system font, you need to sync the system fonts at least once by clicking the sync system font button. By clicking on this, it will ask the confirmation of syncing the system font. On clicking yes, it will start importing the fonts available in your system. You can view the system font getting loaded. Once all the fonts are loaded, you will get a message for font sync successfully. On clicking OK, you can now view the fonts drop down that all your system fonts are loaded in the drop down. You can now use this fonts too. Adding text on canvas. For adding a text, click on the add text option. You can view that a tax area for inserting the tax appears on the canvas. And at the same time, tax content toolbar appears automatically below the tax. You can now type the tax you want. To change the font style, select the entered text and then select the desired font style from the dropdown. You can view that the font style of the text changes as per the selection. You can also change the font size by selecting a value from the drop down or by entering a desired value. Over here, you are also allowed to modify partial text, such as you can change the font style, color, and size of individual letters from the applied text. You can view that the font style of the selected text changes as per your selection and the rest text remains unchanged. In similar ways, you can also apply the various text properties on the text partially. Applying color to text. You can also set the color for text. To apply the color for text, select the text on canvas. Click on set color of text option to select a color for text. By clicking, it will open up a color palette. Select the color of your choice and click on OK. The selected color gets displayed in the color box and at the same time, the color gets applied on the text. Applying color to text background. You can also set the color for text background. Select the text on canvas. To apply the color for text background, click on set background option. To select a color for text background, by clicking, it will open up a color palette. Select the color of your choice and click on OK. The selected color gets displayed in the color box and at the same time, the color gets applied on the text background. 
You can also reset the background color by clicking the reset icon. Applying opacity on text. You can also change the opacity of the text. Drag the opacity slider to make the text transparent. The selected text become transparent instantly. Also notice that the slider color changes to orange, indicating a change. You can also reset the opacity of text by clicking the reset icon. Align the text on canvas. By using the provided align options, you can align the text accordingly to left, center, right and justify. Applying various effects on text. From the effects window, you can also apply various effects on text like adjust, strokes, glow, filters, shadow, etc. These effects will get applied on the complete text within the text area and not on partial text. Text content toolbar. This content toolbar for text appear automatically. Whenever you add or select any text on canvas, this toolbar has various tools by using which you modified or apply effects to your text on canvas. If any tool used for this window, then the respective icon will be highlighted in orange. Applying color on text from text content toolbar. You can also set the color for text from the text content toolbar using the text color option. Select the text and click on text color option. By clicking, it will open up a color palette. Select the color of your choice and click on OK. The selected color gets displayed in the color box and at the same time, the color gets applied on the text. Also, you can change the color of the text by dragging the slider on the desired color accordingly. Arrange text on canvas. If you have any additional image or object other than the text on your canvas, the arrange option will appear automatically in the text content toolbar. Under arrange tool, you will find various options to arrange the position of your text. Bring to front. This option will move the selected text to the front most layer. Send to back. This option will move the selected text to the back most layer. Send backwards. This option will move the selected text behind another image or object by one level. Bring forward. This option will move the selected text in the front of another image or object by one level. Flip text on canvas. By clicking on flip icon, you will have the options to flip the selected text horizontal and vertical. You can also flip the text in a fixed degree such as 180 degree, 90 degree clockwise, 90 degree counterclockwise. Once you apply any flip option, the flip icon will be highlighted. Opacity on text. By clicking opacity icon, a slider will open where you can adjust the opacity of the text. You can also enter a value for desired opacity and press the enter key by clicking reset icon, you can reset the applied opacity. You can also find the option under effects window in text option. Opacity will be applied on the complete text and not on partial text. Applying properties on text. This option appears if you have applied any property on the text. Using this tool, you can apply same property 
of one text to other. By clicking properties icon, you will get multiple options like copy property, apply property and clear property. Using this option, you can copy and apply all the property from one text to other objects and vice versa. The copied property will get applied on entire text and not on partial text. Lock text on canvas. This tool will lock the position of the selected text on the canvas. On applying the lock, the lock icon gets highlighted in orange and at the same time, the selection highlighter turns gray. You can apply various effects on a locked text. If you wish to move or resize the text, you need to unlock the text. To unlock the text, you can simply click the lock icon text. Delete text on canvas. By clicking delete icon, the text will get deleted from canvas. Move text on canvas. If you wish to move the text within the canvas, you can simply hold the move cursor, a small white square which appears at the center of the selected highlighter. Click and hold on the move cursor and you can move the text anywhere on the canvas. Along with the text content toolbar, you will also find option like rotate, an icon with a rotate sign displayed above the text by using which you can rotate the entire text. To rotate the entire text, click and hold rotate icon and rotate the text as you want in any direction. At the same time, it will also display the degree up to which the text has been rotated. If you wish, you can also enter the exact rotation, open the edit option under the effects window and enter the desired value for rotation or drag the slider to left or right respectively. You can also reset these changes by clicking on the reset icon for rotate. 